it's apparent that <coughs> the top of the kiln hasn't burnt as well as the bottom. The bottom seems to have done a lot better. So that's something which I'll address on the next time round. Um, I might actually put a lot more timber at the halfway mark or the three quarter way mark. And as you can see, the stone just bubbles down. And I'm getting quite a lot of paste out of it now. getting thicker and thicker so just keep adding water it's quite amazing to think this is one of the oldest skills which the world ever knew and it's a worldwide skill and yet it's been lost admittedly the guys back in the days would have done it probably a lot harder and on a lot larger scale. The bathtub isn't too bad to do it in because you can slosh it from once, you know, back and forth, back and forth. And in the wheelbarrow here, I'm sort of having to trap it and then pull it back. See, she's getting a bit of a toothpaste cons consistency now, and that's what we're aiming for. And the stone just keeps breaking up the more you work it. That's going to just about fill my tub up, I think. I've already got a little bit in the tub there already, as you can see. Um, I will continue on with screening it into the tub. I'm using a 5mm screen, a 10mm would be a little bit better, I think, but uh, you can only use what you've got, and that's all I've got. there's still you notice here there's still stone breaking up so it's not ready to be screened off yet that's getting thicker and thicker I'll just add a bit more water By no means am I an expert at this, but I believe it's something that should be revisited and be reused. Cement companies don't like the idea of it, but the fact of the matter is this is what they built all their old buildings out of, and cement does not breathe. Trap salts and it argues with stone. So unlike lime mortars which breathe and don't attract salt, they expel the salt out through their surface. Okay, time to screen him off. Simply just put him onto there I'm working through. I really should have some glasses on here As usual Gavin fashion I'll wait till something gets in my eye before I worry about it And what I've been doing is once I get down to this nitty gritty size I'm just throwing it 
into a bucket, which then I put water into, get all the lime off of it, and then throw that back into there. Thank you, Clyde. Big yard dog. As you can see, it's very sticky. It's a wonderful thing. Once you get to work with it, you'll, you'll appreciate it. It's like a plaster. do the rest I'm going to go hunting for a 10 minute screen. I have a friend which has got one which I now can borrow for the sake of the exercise and that's basically it. Slaking limestone. Look at the putty. A beautiful putty. Look at that. Okay. Welcome to the world of lime putty.